welcome to another episode of today's Health Digest. Our topic today is weight loss. According to the data, 70% of Americans are overweight and one in three of those are obese. And COVID-19 has only made things worse. A new survey showed that 42% of U.S. adults gained an average of 29 pounds during the pandemic. But there's hope on the horizon. Last year, the FDA approved the first new class of weight loss medications in over eight years. And what a stir it's caused. The New York Times and all of the TV networks said this could be the holy grail of weight loss. The prestigious New England Journal of Medicine and University Obesity Researchers report a staggering 20% of body weight loss. Gail King on CBS This Morning said her best friend lost 15 pounds the first week. Even Dr. Oz called this a true game changer. Our guest today is a longtime family physician and hospital ER doctor in tiny little Shipley, Florida, literally in the middle of nowhere in the Florida Panhandle, over 100 miles from Pensacola or Tallahassee. And this doctor has been testing this new medication for weight loss on his patients over the past 18 months. As amazing as it sounds, without any advertising, just word of mouth, he has over 900 patients that have used it with astonishing results. And this doctor is our guest today. Dr. Kevin, our time is limited, so let me jump in and ask you just how profound is this new medicine for weight loss? Well, uh, not to antiquate myself, not to date myself, I'm getting old and gray-headed now, but uh, I finished my medical training and started in medical practice in earnest in 1998. And at the, that time, uh, we were basically relegated to weight loss medications that were amphetamine driven. And everyone's heard of amphetamines, just like they, the the illegally used amphetamines. They, they amp up your system, they make you jittery, all of these things, they burn energy. And, and the treatment, medical treatment, other than some side B12 injections that, that we would use, that we were trained, even in 1998, I was trained, that was basically the only thing we had for weight loss. And of course, people lost weight because they were on legalized speed, they were on amphetamines. So they're walking around, you know, at 10 times the rate uh, but even then, they were still hungry. And the tragic thing is, when we stopped the medication because of that, they gained it back quickly, and sometimes even more with a vengeance. And we were also very concerned. I was always very, very concerned about the cardiac effects of amphetamines. You know, because their resting heart rate would go from what it should be in the low 80s or high 70s, average, up to you know, approaching, you, you, the resting heart rate needs to be controlled and they, the amphetamines raise those. So there were a lot of risk that came out from those. When you compare that, and shockingly, 20, you advance that from 1998, 20 years later to c present day, that has still been the majority of physicians out in the general public are using those amphetamine-based weight loss medications. Uh, that just don't work. Then, then you go through to, to, to starvation diet. I've studied every diet on the planet, the Okinawan diet, the paleo diet, you know, uh, keto diets, all those things. And granted, we need to reduce our carbohydrate intake. We need to stabilize our protein intake. Carbohydrates really do cause a lot of weight gain. But this medicine stands out. It is so profound in the fact that the patient takes it and they don't feel hunger. They, the, the number one thing that causes people to fall off the wagon with weight loss is they're hungry. You're fighting a natural urge to eat. You're having to order a nice big steak at a, at a steakhouse and push yourself away from it. <laughs> not, this medica not this medication. You can't out-eat this medication. When you order that steak now on what we're using now, the profoundness of this medicine is you're going to take two bites of that steak and you're going to take the rest of it home to your dog. He's going to eat pretty good, right? So uh, that's how profound. It, it's, it's weight loss. It, it modifies your eating habits and your lifestyle 
And you and after a while, these patients get used to, they learn portion control because they're just not hungry. There's nothing worse than fighting hunger and satiety, right? We've been there. And this eliminate, that's what makes it profound. And that's why I'm saying, do you realize I've got patients who had a gastric bypass surgery 15 years ago, gained the weight back, and they're on this now, and they're losing more weight, documented. They've lost more weight on this medicine than they lost from gastric bypass surgery. And that's profound. So I understand this medicine is a custom blended prescription drug and the treatment is tailor-made for each patient's needs. You take it once a week. Doctor, exactly what is it and how does it work? The medicine is basically a protein. Just like any other protein the, 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 that, that control or that develop in the muscles of your body, uh, it, it's, it's, so it's very naturally occurring. We're all born with this protein, but the problem is through the years, the protein begins to diminish. It's very interesting. There was a study that was performed on people that had had ga uh, gastric bypass surgery. After the bypass surgery, they were secreting this protein at 10 times the amount before. Now, now you would think logically that after a gastric bypass, you wouldn't eat as much because the stomach had been, part of it had been removed or it had been shrunken a bit. In actuality, for some unknown reason, they were secreting this protein at 10 times the amount as before. And that, in fact, was suppressing their appetite. Because you see, this, pep this uh, protein, this peptide as we call it, goes to the brain, penetrates the blood-brain barrier, that, that barrier that, uh, uh, between the spinal cord and the brain, and goes to a part of your brain called the hippocampus that controls your appetite and your satiety. So what happens is when you're taking this, you take a, a couple of bites of food and you're full. So the medicine is, the, 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 the most incredible thing is it is a naturally occurring protein, isolated. So if I'm eating way less, I can't help but lose weight. But am I still getting the nutritional value I need in my diet? Remember, a portion size is typically determined by the palm of your hand. And if you think about it, the palm of my hand is larger than the palm of a young 23-year-old female. Her palm's gonna be smaller. Her portion size is gonna be smaller. My portion size is about like that. Well, if you look at three or four bites of steak, it fits in the palm of my hand. Not fingers, just the palm, see? So uh, it's, what it's doing is bringing us back to the natural portion sizes that we are designed for. Now, I do have to say in, in patients that are very uh, heavy, greater than 300 pounds, even the 270 ranges, I've made it a mandatory thing to start a multivitamin because of the amount of weight, the, the weight loss is so significant and so quickly, again, which is mind blowing. I've never had a weight loss medicine that I had to say, you gotta take a multivitamin, you're gonna to lose too much weight. You know, so they have to take a multivitamin to make sure that they don't get any vitamin uh, you know, deficiencies in that course. But it's really not, they're, they're not undernourishing themselves, they're bringing themselves down to the natural portion size they should be consuming all along. So just how do you customize the medicine for each patient? The protein is the workhorse. The, that, that protein segment that we described, the one that goes to your brain, goes to the hippocampus, causes you to feel full. You know, typically you go to the steakhouse and order a big steak uh, and complete the whole thing. With this, uh, you can't, you can't out-eat this protein. So you're gonna take a couple of bites and you're gonna feel full. That's, that's what we call uh, satiety. So the protein is going to impact your satiety, but there are other things that we know that can help on the periphery. For example, B12. B12 fundamentally works by increasing the metabolic rate, the rate that each cell in your body burns energy. So, so B12 amps that up, increases your energy burn, and we can coat that along with it. We have a, 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 a several custom ways that we blend those together and we maximize those for each patient. So a patient comes into the clinic, sees a doctor, and gets started. How fast will they see results? In my medical career, uh, this may be two of the most influential and, and impactful and changing medications I've seen in my medical career to patients. And one of the reasons is, 
as soon as you take that first, uh, we like to actually try to get that medication for that patient on that very first visit, the very first dose, because the impact is immediate. I mean, the next day you will begin to feel the effects. Now, granted, initially, remember, we're starting you at a quarter of a dose, then a half, and then we titrate you up to a full. You're, you're, you won't feel as much effect the first couple of weeks at that quarter of a dose uh, as you will, obviously, at a half or, a, or, or the full, full milligram, but you're going to feel it right away the very next day. So usually after the very first day, the patient, the very first dose, those patients are hooked on the success and the feeling they get, the immediate reduction of their satiety. Doctor, what is it that determines how much weight a patient will lose and how quickly will it happen? The common denominator is weight and body mass index. We clearly see people, we have many patients, as one we saw yesterday, uh, greater than, started at greater than 400 pounds, uh, is now under the 300, is, it remarkably has, has lost all of that weight, uh, uh, approaching over 100 pounds in 12 months, had a very amped up, but the, the higher that body mass index is and the higher, the larger amount of fat there is, the more rapidly they lose the weight. We have a lot of people that we actually have to pull, the. it, it works so well if they have a lower body mass index, they're not quite as heavy, but they just want to get down to their appropriate weight to their height. They'll, they'll lose at a nice consistent rate, but not as dramatically as those that are, you know, 370, 410, 450. So tell me about the actual results you've seen with your own patients. Every physician has patients that stand out. I still have some patients that when I think of them, literally the, I get chills or the hair stands up on my neck, you know. Uh, one of the most profound uh, was a, a young mother, a single mother, really struggling. Uh, had children, was, had, had recently been evicted from her home, although she was working hard, she was trying to find another place to live. She was struggling all the challenges of being a mother and she had gained north of, uh, well, she was over 400 pounds, 415 pounds, had gained a tremendous amount of weight from the stress of life. You know, women particularly, my heart goes out to females, they can relate to this so well. After they have children, the stress of life, sometimes they never lose that weight of pregnancy. And this was her case. And I'll never forget when, the, when she first came in, the first visit, her hair was disheveled, long, unkept, forward. Uh, her body habitus, she was looking down, her self-esteem was low, and she just started. She just started. She put one foot ahead of it. She took the first step. She went through the door. And immediately, within a month, the first month, we were north of, of uh, I think it was 17 pounds the first month. Remember, we talked, the more your BMI, the more weight, the more dramatic the weight drops off. Uh, she told me uh, very um, poignantly how she had never been able to buy clothes, or within the last 10 years of her life at least, in a regular store. That they were so large she couldn't even buy them in a store. Um, Slowly, as the weight came down, she, she was able to, uh, to, to go to a regular store and buy clothes. And the visits, the monthly visits, I saw her, her self-esteem just perked up more and more and more. I saw this individual come out of a shell. And now, greater than 100 pounds of weight loss. I mean, think about that. Greater than 100 pounds of weight loss. She's sitting there. Think about carrying around a sack with 100 pounds every day. She, she was facing knee surgery. When I first saw her, she had already been an orthopedic surgeon. Her knees, think of the tremendous stress in that knee joint every time she walked up a, a, a couple of steps, etc. She canceled the knee surgery. Her, uh, she comes in that office bounding with confidence. She has bloomed like a flower. Uh, she's an inspiring individual. So this is unlocking a lot more. That weight, it changes the, uh, the trajectory of their life. It is life-changing. It's not just some superficial change where you can get into smaller clothes or wear a certain outfit you want to wear. It increases the impact of, your, of her life. I forget exactly how she said it one time, but I think she said something along the lines of instead of me 
uh, looking at a life of 55 years, I'm looking at a life of 75 years now, which is true. It changes all of those. Remember, all of these patients that have that much weight are on a... It's not a matter of if they're going to get type 2 diabetes. They're going to get other medical problems if their weight continues like it is. And we're able to stop the, the process that leads to high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, high glucose readings by getting their weight down. It is such a, an empiric thing for quality of life and length of life. And I understand you personally are on the medication. What's it done for you? Well, my personal experience with this medication is what started the whole process because I moved into a new practice, began working with a great physician. Tom gently nudged and hinted that I had become overweight and was trying to encourage me to lose weight. Now, he himself was nicely trim and slim, but he actually produced a picture and showed me that he had been morbidly obese before and began to share with me the research on this peptide. He showed the article of people that had, had gastric bypass and how it was released at 10 times the amount after gastric bypass. And, and he and I had the conversation, man, if you could just, if we could just bottle that up and that, that little protein and, and sell it by the bottle, and of course that's exactly what we've, we've been able to bottle that up. It's like a gastric bypass in a bottle, really, uh, that it would be there. And so he uh, convinced me to start the medication. I was reluctant. I am skeptical by nature as a physician uh, due to my formal medical training. I've been burned by the previous uh, weight loss treatments that were pushed toward me with my medical training that were amphetamine based and they just didn't work. Patients just gained weight back. Anyone watching this can relate to that. So I started it, and the very first dose, within two days, my, my appetite was just decreasing. I just would not finish a meal when we went uh, for a steak. Uh, I was not completing, I did, was not hungry. Uh, I've lost 42 pounds to date, and actually I've never tried medication myself before. But the results were so profound that I knew I had to share this. And so I slowly began to learn more. I began to introduce more patients to it. And here I am sitting north of 900 patients now. I've changed a lot of lives and changed my life. I feel better. Uh, and my weight, I'm, I'm the weight that I was in college. I have more to go, but I'm on the process. Since as in my adult life, I've never lost this much weight and kept it off. I just don't eat as much as I used to eat. So how have you been able to keep the cost down so it's affordable to anybody? In today's climate particularly, or any climate, medication costs can be prohibitive. They have skyrocketed. When you're talking about a medication that is $1,500 to $2,000 a month, and you take a very powerful case like Shannon that walks into my office, a young single mother on a limited income, but she desperately needs to, needs to lose weight to change the course of her life and the amount of weight that she needs to lose, that uh, becomes very important. I think that there's the, the, the new class of medications that involve peptides and proteins will change the face of medicine. But unfortunately with that, because of the excessive commercial advertising and the development that went into those, they're cost prohibitive, candidly. They're far out of the reach of someone like Shannon who needed that life-changing uh, medication and that, and that life-changing therapy. And so we have worked with our compounding pharmacy, worked, we, and, and we didn't have to advertise because word of mouth very quickly spread. If you look at a very small practice that I had in Florida in a rural setting, greater than 900 patients, all by word of mouth, if you're a truck driver or a waitress or a secretary like Shannon was, it's pretty obvious. People look at you and they see that you're down 50 uh, pounds and they want to know how you got there. And so because of that, we've been able to get the cost down so that the average American patient, people like you and I, can afford this medication. So what are some of the side effects from this medicine? I have to say first, before we speak of the side effects, and all medicines have them, that the, that the side effects I've dealt with in previous medications uh, particularly those that are prescribed that have an amphetamine base, 
uh, that have been used frequently in the past. Uh, many of the doctors call those legalized speed. Pe many patients have gone to clinics and gotten those. They have tremendous side effects, tremendous danger to their heart and their heart rate, rapid heart rate, jitteriness, all those things that make them very uncomfortable. And at the end of the day, those patients are still hungry. The side effects that we deal here with, remember, I told you the medicine come, is secreted naturally by your intestines. It's a simple protein called a peptide, simple protein. Uh, and so the, all of the side effects have to, have to do with gastric. They're all GI. The first two weeks, I always tell patients to anticipate maybe just a couple of episodes of some loose stool, very mild, uh, but that's fairly consistent. Some patients, very rarely, I, in my personal experience, less than 5% will have a little bit of nausea, but we head that off by combining and adding a medication uh, that helps with the nausea, Zofran. Uh, and so we supply the patient with that. Very, very low risk. It's very interesting that later, after you've been on the medication for about four to five months, it may transition into uh, a bit of occasional constipation. Uh, you may have some very mild indigestion. But when you look at the benefit, I've, I've never had a patient come back in and stop out of greater than 900, I've had less than five that stopped because they had nausea that was just a bit too much for them or diarrhea they could not control. Very, very uh, uh, rarely. Now we start, the target dose of the medication is a milligram. And the way that we combat those side effects is we start very slowly. We, we, we the, the medical term is titrate. So we'll titrate the person, the, uh, the patient at a quarter of a dose for the first two weeks. Then we'll go to a half dose for two weeks. And then we titrate and move them up to the full dose. By doing that, the, the side effects are basically uh, a, a non-issue. On occasion, if we have someone that has a little more diarrhea or a little bit of nausea, we just, we just slow down the titration schedule and we'll, we'll keep them at a quarter dose, for example, three or four weeks or, 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 or a half dose, three or four weeks. So they're really comparable in my career the side effect profile is extremely minimal. And finally, doctor, we're running out of time. Tell me who qualifies for this treatment plan, who can take this medication, and who can't? Compared to the medicines I've used in the past for weight loss in my medical career, because this is a naturally occurring protein, once again, there are very few uh, contraindications. To qualify, you must not have ever had thyroid cancer. Uh, there is a very, very rare type of abdominal cancer called multiple endocrine neoplasia 1, or MEN1. Uh, that would disqualify a patient. And just so you know, it's very interesting. In all the patients I've treated, I've not had one disqualified because of thyroid that, that presented with that type of thyroid cancer or MEN1. The third is, would be someone that's had frequent uh, pancreatitis that would, not, uh, that would eliminate them from from being able to use that, but those are so rare. And every patient I've enrolled in this medical treatment and this custom blended set of medications, not one has been disqualified because of those three. It's that rare. And there you have it. Dr. Kevin, thank you. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on today's Health Digest.